Christ rather than to acknowledge my, my family and his support has been indispensable to this journey. And I'd like to dedicate this degree to my dad. In the cliche tradition of any commencement speech that ever existed since the beginning of academic institutions, I will offer an epic quote as a metaphor. So said he said, wrapped within young leaves, the sound of water. Our education in Antioch, aligned with the values of social justice, is a process of unfurling, one that continues into perpetuity beyond this momentous occasion. I remember balancing at the brink of my decision to embark upon my Antioch journey, shoulder to shoulder with a handful of other wild-eyed empaths, blissfully ignorant to what was about to happen to us, the discovery of the self. This is no small matter. This is an ethical imperative. To know yourself. To know. As a doctoral student in clinical psychology, we are trained to distinguish through knowing, diagnoses, as Dr. Trevino drove into our heads year after year. How can we possibly diagnose and therefore effectively treat or help, or at the very least, avoid causing harm without this precious self-knowledge? I witnessed within myself and my fellow classmates a diamond brilliant process of unearthing, refining, and polishing many aspects of the self. What I came to realize is this, that it is not necessarily the adding on of skills, of knowledge, of clinical language, of networks, by which one comes to blossom into a professional. It is actually the peeling away, the unraveling of gauze that shrouds our perspective, the melting of ice that sequesters our hearts from being affected by the emotional processes of others, the stripping away of limiting ideas of who we are that keep us from aligning with our most congruent self. Like sculptures, works in progress never went quite completed. Our professional selves have emerged from a slab of stone previously unexamined to this degree of introspection. This process is anxiety-provoking and continuous. It does not end it today. And for this, I'm grateful, because this, it is this process of stripping away to know the self, of removal of barriers and layers, which allows us to access the hum running through humanity, to calibrate the self with the pitch of those we seek to accompany on their own journey of self-discovery. That of which we are not aware of will govern us. That which is repressed will be expressed. In working to accrue skills, training, and knowledge necessary to achieve the alphabet soup of doctoral candidate, my cherished professors at Antioch gently guided me towards the courage to face and ultimately lean into some of my biggest blind spots in knowing the self. The few of you who know me may already know this, but I have been obsessed with this fantasy of justice my whole life. Selecting Antioch was one of the most intuitively decision, intelligent decisions I've ever made. Contrary to expectation, it didn't further me along the path of what I thought justice looked like. It completely inverted the paradigm of how I defined it. The developmental path invoked during my time at Antioch, under the guidance of faculty and administration, has fostered the growth of roots and extension of self. The compassion, patience, and empowerment showered upon us have created an optimal climate for growth, resilience, and empathy for others. The person who stands before you now is merely an emergent property of one who first set foot on this campus five years ago. And as I look at my fellow graduates sitting here to perform me today, I know I speak for all of you too. We have been humbled, we have been strengthened. This is all a direct function of the hearts and minds that comprise the Antioch community, living out its mission. Across work environments, I have always been able to distinguish the Antiochian. The Antiochian has heart, has technical and practical knowledge, has perspective. The Antiochian is balanced, centered, driven, while being oriented towards helping others in meaningful ways. At the heart of all of these attributes beats a reliable rhythm of the process of unfurling, a commitment to self-awareness. In a dynamic world, constantly in flux, burning with difference, we are made, are made aware of our privilege in comparison to those who are underserved and marginalized. This privilege screams to be acknowledged paradoxically as the route towards bridging our differences with others to allow the work we facilitate to be done. This is not the conclusion of a process, but the inception of a new phase. May we all go forth, walk the walk, feel the feelings, know the self, and thereby ignite these processes in those